So what's going on guys? Back with a little short video. Uh, I know I shared the motor mount. I mean, not motor mount. I know I shared the uh, Dollar Tree foam mount with you guys, which has been holding up just great. Foam still hasn't fell out. I actually took it off roading on my other bike. And I mean, we were bumping and jumping and banging all around. Phone held up just fine. Like I said, if you go to check out your local Dollar Tree and uh, get one, man. If you got multiple bikes, man, for a dollar, you can't beat it. You definitely can't beat it. But I told you guys I was going to share another one video with you guys. And on this video, I know uh, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this one. Uh, a lot of people are going to say I'm freaking nuts. Uh, but here is my number two. Well, actually, this is more... Well, uh, these things these things i guess this is my number two go to well actually this is my number one go to at the uh, dollar tree whenever they have them in stock and that is driver's choice 1030 mobile oil it's exactly 16 ounces which is exactly what these motors need some people say they like to put 12 i've heard 12 but 16 is what you need for these motors um the motor oil is a uh, driver's choice. Um, they sell it to Dollar Tree for a dollar, right? Uh, when we get down to it, our engines are just splash type, you know, um, splash type engines where it just kind of splashes the oil around. Uh, this right here is a, one of the best bangs for your buck, especially if you change your oil all the time. If you're one of the ones that change your oil like every three hours, every four hours, or you change your oil just often in general, right? For one dollar, you get 16 ounces of oil. And here's the thing, uh, Scotty Kilmer, he is a big YouTuber and he kind of talked about this oil and I'm gonna put the link in the description for his because he'll get a little more technical with it. And his is actually more car related stuff. But, uh, you know, people are using this oil in their engines or just to top off the oil, you know, for the most part. Like I said, it's only 16 ounces. So I'm sure people are not buying shit load of these and pour into the car but uh scotty kilmer says that you know these oils all oils mobile one uh, uh you know snoco you know all, all that high dollar oil that you know the dinosaur oil um they're all made from manufactured from two different places pretty much and companies like mobile one and uh motorcraft and all those other companies they just put their own detergents in the oil. There's really no big difference in how they refine the oil. The oil is all refined the same. And from the same places, they're just putting their own little detergents on it. And if I'm not mistaken, from what I've seen and read, this oil right here is actually a Mobile One oil. It's actually um, has Mobile One detergents in it. And they come from the same factory. Um, they just sell it to Dollar Tree in 16 ounce bottles. Uh, but like I said, when they have these in the Dollar Tree, man... I'll go and buy 30 of these suckers and just put them up in my shop. Uh, Cause like I said, I like to change my oil all the time. Now I've been using this oil in my Predator 212 for about a year and a half now. You know, it's got the cam, rod. Uh, well, it's a, um, yeah, cam, cam and rod. You know, it's stage two. I hate saying stages, but then, you know, stages for talk for people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Excuse my language. But um, I've got you run this oil on a built engine for over a year and a half, and it's running just fine. It's running like it was when it was brand new. Now I changed the oil on those on that bike probably every eight hours or so, eight hours of riding use, maybe more sometimes. But and I've had no issues with it. It runs just fine. I have yet to use it in my Tilton two two eight. I'm I haven't used it in this engine yet. Uh, because they had sent me oil with this engine and then I bought an extra one on top of that But eventually I probably will end up just using this too. When we get down to it, these engines are like lawnmower engines, you know They don't have a complicated oiling system in them really. It's a splash type engine, you know, so I think this oil does just fine in my other engines uh, I figured, you know, it's a great buy you can bulk buy it and just put it up You know, it's 16 ounces. So you boom you pour it in you're done no guessing work on, on how much oil did you put enough oil? Did you not put enough oil? Did you put too much oil? I mean, it's all right here in this one bottle. 
Uh, I think it's a really good buy from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I use it in the Wildcat 223, and I use it in my two Predator engines, and I use it in my uh, Coleman 196, and that bike's even older. I've had that bike for, I want to say, going on two years, and I've been using this oil on it. And that, that engine just purrs like a kitten, runs like it was when it was brand new. So uh, here's my um, number one buy from the Dollar Tree for mini bikes. There ain't many things you can get from the Dollar Tree for mini bikes, but there's little things here and there, little items. And this is one of them besides the uh, that phone, phone holder. But check it out. I'm going to put the link in the description to Scotty Kilmore's video. Uh, he talks a little more in-depth about it. Um, definitely better than I am. Check it out. Guys, I'm out. And I'm going to post probably some racing videos here later on. Uh, wear your helmet even when I don't. See you later.